I'm Anil Kumar. Here is another question from IIT J E test paper. Let us see how to solve it. We need to find limit when x approaches 1 for square root of 1 minus cos 2 x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. So here we are given four choices. Let's see which one is correct. We'll use double angle formula. Uh, cos 2x is what? Cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sine square x or we could write uh, we have 1 minus we could write 2 sine square x is 1 minus cos 2x correct so that is the formula which can be applied to simplify the given expression so let's rewrite the limit which is given to us as square root of 1 minus cos 2 x minus 1 not just x so write this as limit x approaches 1 and uh, the numerator becomes 2 sine square x minus 1 so it becomes 2 sine square x minus 1 and the denominator is x minus 1 correct now if you have to take out this sine square from the square root, what do you get? It is absolute value of sine x, right? So we have square root of 2 times absolute value of sine x minus 1 over x minus 1. Now see, here is the trick part. Uh, x is approaching 1. So we could approach 1 from left side and from right side correct now if you are approaching from the left side so let's say left side limit that is when we are approaching from the left side at that time we can say let x be equals to 1 minus h right so that is approaching from left side which is x is approaching 1 from the left side right so in that case what is x minus 1 x minus 1 is minus h. Do you see that? So, so let's replace. So we get uh, the left side limit. We could write this as limit. Uh, x approaches 1 from the left side, which is, which is minus 1. Okay. Uh, one more thing which I forgot here. Since we are replacing with h, we'll also see what happens to the limit of h. So if if <coughs> let's use this pen. <coughs> if x approaches 1 if x approaches 1 in that case h approaches 1 minus 1 is 0 so in that case h approaches 0 is it okay so therefore we could write this as uh, limit h approaches 0 we're replacing everything with h now square root of 2 uh, sine of h absolute value over h does make sense to you right so now you are approaching from 0 and this value h becomes minus h do you see x minus h oh sorry x minus 1 is minus h so we will replace this with minus h now that limit is 0 that limit is 1 so minus gives me result as minus square root 2 correct so we get minus square root 2 however if i find the limit from the right side that is limit when x approaches 1 from the right side for square root 2 absolute value of sine x minus 1 over x minus 1 what happens so we'll do the same substitution we'll say x now is approaching uh, means uh, from the right side that means x is equals to 1 plus h right so x minus 1 is plus h second part is to check with the limit limit when x approaches 1 what happens to h if x is approaching 1 h approaches 0 perfect and therefore i could write this as limit h approaches 0 this is for the right side limit square root 2 absolute value of sine h over 
h but positive this time and this limit is square root 2. As you can clearly see the left side limit left side limit is not equal to right side limit right therefore the limit does not exist so option c is the correct option however it is very important to appreciate this part of our calculation where we have shown why it is negative or positive when we approach from left side or the right side this concept is utilized in many absolute functions. I hope it's absolutely clear. Feel free to share your comments and views. You may like or subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.